Hello everyone, welcome to another science revision video. This video is going to focus on a physics topic. We're going to look at how to calculate work done. For a recap on what work done is, work done is the energy that's transferred when a force is used to move an object. The further the object is moved or the greater force is needed, for example, if the object is heavier, the more work is done because more energy will be transferred. An example of this would be if you had two rugby players lifting up a third player into the air. They're using a force to lift that person. The equation for work done is work done equals force times distance. Force is measured in newtons and has the symbol n. Distance is measured in meters and has the symbol m. So work done is measured in newton meters which has the symbol Nm. Because work done is a measure of energy transferred, we would usually use J for joules instead. But one newton meter is equal to one joule. Here's an example of how this equation would be used. Two rugby players use a force of 800 newtons to lift a teammate up by 1.5 meters. Calculate the work done. So for this question, we're gonna to need to use that equation Work done equals force times distance. We then need to identify the numbers in the question and substitute them. In this case, 800 newtons is the force being used and the distance the person is moved is 1.5 metres. So work done equals a force of 800 newtons times a distance of 1.5 metres. If we put that into our calculator, we will get a work done of 1,200 joules. That means 1,200 joules of energy was transferred to lift that person. Here are a couple of practice questions that would use this equation. A box is pushed 8 metres with a force of 60 newtons. Calculate the work done. And the second question, a force of 20 newtons is used to lift an object 1.5 metres into the air. Calculate the work done. Pause the video and have a go at these questions. We're going to use the equation work done equals force times distance. In the first question, the force is 60 newtons and the distance is 8 metres. So we do 60 times 8. That will give us an answer of 480 joules. For the second question, it's exactly the same. We're going to use the force and distance from the question. In this case, the force is 20 newtons and the distance is 1.5 metres. So we do 20 times 1.5 and that gives us work done of 30 joules. Those are some fairly simple questions where you didn't have to do any rearranging, but sometimes if you're doing this subject for an exam, you will be asked to complete a question which needs you to rearrange the equation. So here's an example of a question that works like this. 500 joules of work is done when a box has lifted two meters into the air. Calculate the force that was used. So instead of calculating the work done, we're given the work done and we're given the distance and we have to calculate the force used. It's going to be the same equation, work done equals force times distance. But this time when we substitute, we substitute in the work done, which is 500. The force we don't know, we know the distance is 2 metres. So 500 equals the force times 2. If we rearrange that, we can say 500 divided by 2 will tell us the force. 500 divided by 2 is going to be 250. So a force of 250 newtons was used. Here's a couple of practice questions where you need to rearrange the numbers once you've substituted. 200 joules of work is done to push a box 5 metres. Calculate the force used. And then a second one where we need to calculate the distance. A force of 50 newtons is used to lift an object. 300 joules of work is done. Calculate the distance the object was lifted. Pause the video now and have a go at these questions. So for the first question, we write out the equation as normal. Work done equals force times distance. We know the work done and that's 200. And we don't know the force, but we do know the distance is 5. 200 equals force times 5. So 200 divided by 5 will tell us the force. 200 divided by 5 is 40. And that tells us that a force of 40 newtons was used. 
Similar process for the second one. It's the same equation, work done equals force times distance. We're going to need to substitute in our values from the question. Work done in this question is 300 joules and the force is 50 newtons, but we don't know the distance. 300 is 50 times distance. So 300 divided by 50 tells us the distance. And 300 divided by 50 is 6, so that means the object was moved 6 metres. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful for you and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.